Ah, hello, welcome to Dusty Shop. Where bad decisions are rabid and planning is lacking. So, don't do what we do. Well, you could try it. Have fun with it. You know, do the YouTube stuff. Click like and subscribe. Alright, thanks. Alright, so these guys, uh, uh, me and George are in here today. Uh, we are going to weld in the transmission mount and some other goodies underneath the car to try to keep her keep it moving in the right direction so what we're doing right now is uh, we gotta take the bracket out weld it out real good we see in the video where I made it but uh, still needs to be finished and get it in the car so there's where we are right now oh yeah I need that impact so you can Slide right on out of there. Huh? So I can do my little slippy slide thing. I like shit out of there. Trying to do something that didn't look all goofy, you know, gaudy and goofy. Yeah. I'm gonna take them all the way out, dude. This is back when you do. Oh. That way. Oh, yeah. That way, if it ever, something ever happens, it won't slide out. There it is. Ta-da! Ta-da! There she is. Ow. All right, circus go. So what I'm doing right here is I am uh, cleaning that sick, sick paint that I painted that subframe with, <clears throat> so that way we can weld the cross member in. Um, we got to put some shims in there and all kinds of good stuff. So I've got to get it. Uh, yeah, I gotta uh, use my wonderful Harbor Freight little. Uh, I don't know what the hell you call it, I think a little belt sander or whatever it is. Uh, for cheap as it was, it works real well on this kind of stuff. A little tight spots and everything else. Cleans up everything. Man, it was a lifesaver. I'm glad I spent, what, $5 probably for it? Well, I mean, who knows, but, you know, we know how Harbor Freight stuff is. Uh, I'm not knocking it. We got, so, quite a, we got quite a bit of Harbor Freight stuff in the shop. Um, works great for what we use it for. So, that being said, no, uh, you can see right there. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna finish cleaning this up, so that way, uh, you know, George can uh, do his thing. So, mm -hmm. yeah, there we go. Are you a hundred percent sure about that? <laughs> Oh, what's George got? Oh, look at there. It is the cut. Our favorite stuff in the shop to make all of our templates. So, what George is doing there is he has got, like I said, got a cardboard. And we're going to put a gusset in there. Just one gusset on each side. So, we're trying to decide uh, do we want a long gusset in there? you want a short little gusset in there? Do, do we need to make like six of these things and then see what it's going to be like. No. We're going to make it out of cardboard. Um, get the drawing, get the right, about where we want it to stop and do everything else because we still got bolts and other things in there that we've got to be able to work with. So, yeah, and we've seen us do this like a million times. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll draw it, cut it out, and then come look at it and see what it is and uh, see if it's going to work. So, and there's a cutout piece right there. So, yep, looks like it's probably going to work. So, we're going to run with that one. And, uh, yeah, all right. All right, so, uh, 
George is on the other table over there on the table and he is getting some shims welded in on those slide brackets where it holds actually holds the transmission in place. I like it to be a little 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 closer tolerance. Yeah, we'll call it closer tolerance. Yeah. So he's working on that. I I guess I'm gonna continue on trying to get that to um, work. Yeah. So, get done with this thing, I'm sandblasting life out of this thing under here. Everything's done. Alright, so as we can see here, here's George again. Oh, looky there. There it all is the bracket. He got it in his hand, and what we're going to do here is kind of like a final fitment of it into the car, shall we say, as he gets it all yeah, in there. Um, oh, you know. He's trying to get it like squared up and lined up and all that. I did that when I did when I built the bracket. So basically, all we got to do is put the two bolts in the transmission mount and pull this thing down to the frame. Just knock it up on the little. Um, I'm gonna make some like, shimming material because the frame right there has got an offset for the original mount. And we're not using any of that. So and that's what he's doing right now. Is he's just gonna put bolts in it and that's gonna line everything back up. Because, uh, yeah, I didn't leave no wiggle room for them bolts. It's just got to be, like, right there for now. For now. And then that way we can get in there, and he can get in there. Because I've already cleaned it. Looks like we got the shims in there. So, get it bolted up. And we can go to doing the, uh, yeah, doing some more fitting and uh, more work on that. So, you know, kind of, like I said, getting everything lined up. Uh... Kind of got to double, triple check it, because uh, yeah, once we get in here and start welding, it's just gonna be, <laughs> yeah, it's gonna get rough. We gotta take it back out. So I'd rather not take it back out. So see right there, he is putting the bolts in. So hopefully, we should line up and we should be in good spot. And we can get her done. Yeah, get her done. I like it, I like it. Yes, I do. I figure now that we've done all this and now that I'm looking at it, I mean, all the steel, all the steel right here is actually doing all the work. This, these two are doing all the work, holding everything in. This is just to keep it from, this, from shifting. Yep. This goes on to make like a big Okay. All right. This right here is just keeping the transmission. Right. Just right. 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 No, that's fine. I mean, I'm just thinking something later on where I'm going to run a little piece from here to here, maybe. I don't know. No. I better not. I can get it. When I clap it down, Yeah. I can sit right here and I can get a big ass hole. But that's what I was getting. Some of them little... All the that hole Now you got that in there. Yeah, 
I'm thinking maybe we can some line, that's right. So maybe we just cut a piece of this shit out, you know what I mean? And just just fill her. Yeah, yeah, just pull the dog shit out of it. That's what I kinda I was looking down on man, why don't we get something like that? Kind of get that get that little funky gap out of it. I mean, and it, it's, I gotta lose a strap anyway, and that gives you less to have to fuck with. I'm gonna do that from here, kinda undercut it so it lays in there a little deeper. And then cut it out there, that way when you go to weld it, you're just, it looks, you know what I mean? That part, I can, I can weld it up good. Right. I just need a strip of that, make like a half I just make a piece that fits in, so you slide it in like that, and it'll just slip in there, and then, you, like I said, you weld it, weld it good here, and then you can get it the best you can through here. Right, that's like, yeah, I'll just cut it down to fit, so when it slides in there, it's all flush. Yep, same thing. I'll make two of them. Okay, so here here we go. We are getting the final finishing touches up before we start doing going crazy doing all kinds of uh, Yeah, welding forever. So what I got there are the last of the little shims that I was gonna I'm kind of made in there earlier They're small they're little but it was just bothering me and uh, so I'm over there jacking around trying to get them to fit Better more little something i don't know so anyhow uh, i get that way ocd adhd i don't know what you want to call it but i mess and mess with each one of those for about 30 minutes or so trying to get them to seat right like i wanted them to so here we go uh, i'm still screwing around with these things george luckily enough is he's making gussets to go down in there too so like I said, I'm over here screwing around with these things and nobody's ever going to see them. Only unless you watch this will anybody ever know besides myself. But yeah, like I said, yeah. So there's George. He's got one of the gussets. And uh, yeah, there it is. This is the way it's going to go when he starts uh, yeah, getting all doing his thing. So as he's double checking, triple checking, all that good stuff. So. And away we go. So what George is gonna do now is is uh so I built some fillers. So George is gonna put a gusset basically right about in the middle of here somewhere. Big heavy gussets. It's going like so. And then uh oh, the car's all connected. Got it wherever. Yeah. So uh, he'll grab it or he'll weld it. Kind of like there. I made some filler pieces. And then, I mean, it's just going in the middle. It ain't going to be like all crazy and stuff. Well, so I still got a clamp it. So I'll get some. You look like it's in there because I still got a I got those. Suck it down. I got the fillers in there already. So all you got to do is suck it down. The little fillers are in there. Let me grab the magnets. Well, you know, uh, I do believe they will uh, definitely get the job done. Now, next question. Okay. This way. Are we good? As long as we're on that transmission, there's, there's like, that, we're bolted into the transmission, we're good. Because when I did it, that's what I was doing right here. I was making sure that this would bolt up. After that, I don't, you know, it's kind of one of the builders, like, you know, it is what it is. I just hold it there. Okay, well. Yeah. Well, they're, they're here. There you are. We, we have them. All right, circus goer, so we have seen this a million times. Not a million times, but we've seen this quite a bit. So George is going to do what George does best, and he's going to weld all this out. So, 
yeah, we'll uh, we'll watch him once he uh, turns a whole lot of rod. So, all right, wire, not rod, but wire, and uh, gets all that stuff welded in so that way um, nothing comes up and jumps out and gets me while I'm driving the car. All right, so here we go. <laughs> Welding by umbrella. Gotta love it. Sometimes you gotta do it. I mean, there is just no choice in the matter. It's gotta be done that way. So. Yeah. Man, I got some body work to do. Oh, that is beautiful. Oh, man. Yeah, yeah, okay. So. No. 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 I think I can roll this thing pretty good. This frame ain't going to give out. That's. Uh, shit, you can jack it. Put, put, the, put the top right there and pick the whole front of the car. Yeah. <laughs> we got a new lifting point. Yeah. So. That's yeah, what yeah. I want. I like the gussets. Yeah. Stiffen that up. Yeah. Big gusset here. Yeah, that. This really, all this, like all said, this really does is hold the transmission. Like you said, once you connect all so, that shit up there, that'll stick in that. Yeah, once you start adding all the sheet metal in here, we can we gotta go all the way up, weld it all in, and it'll be one big piece. Because that's basically what the tunnel's gonna look like up to this point. Yeah, it's just, that's, that was just, my idea too. Just straight on back. Just a big box. Yep. Just throwing in here. It's a race car. I don't, you know. I don't want to. You can do that later. Listen, just come here and knock Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna finish. That. We'll do a, a real good finish trim. No. No. So we got right there. Weld it. Weld it the world out of it. Comes up. Goes over. Weld the world out of it. I'm kind of stiffen the frame up and this, like I said, we've seen this in the other video. This all slides apart. I'm gonna drill a hole there, drill a hole there, tap it. And it's a done deal. Uh, and that's, yeah, that's going to be, there it is. There's the transmission mount, transmission bracket, framework, done. Got to let it cool, and I said, you all weld it out. Man, that looks so good. Woohoo! Static. Uh, yeah, once I drill these holes, motor and transmission come out, and we'll, uh, we got a lot of welding to do, so I'm not bore everybody with all the finish-up welding. Um, and then, uh, yeah, we were cussing and discussing this. I'll get back on uh, this little deal right here, which we'll uh, we'll make a little video on uh, the, the little framework underneath here. Because let's face it, uh, I don't want to be in the ejecto seat. Oh, uh, that's not cool. So I'm gonna get that built so, on the next video. So, well, that's it for this one. So, yeah, badass as hell. So thanks for watching, and we'll catch you on the next Thank one. Thank you.